He can fly and swim. The B-200 amphibious aircraft is a unique development of the Georgi Periev Design Bureau and the Taganrog Aircraft Plant. This is a plane that is known all over the world, the appearance of which in the sky is always a salvation. The history of hydroaviation in our country began on October 1, 1934, when the Central Design Bureau of Marine Aircraft was created, which was headed by a young aircraft designer, Georgi Beriev. He dreamed of becoming a pilot and realized his dream on aircraft of his own design. On one of the flights, they crashed there with two of them. There was a failure of one of the systems and a big storm came over them. And this is what they call from improvised means. The repair kit, which is on board the plane, could not restore the system and raise the car. At that moment, Herr Mikhailovich was once again convinced of the importance of building aircraft with high operational manufacturability. BR2, already then a progressive thinking engineer, Barry proposed to use structures instead of the usual for that time wood aluminum alloys. However, the industry was not yet ready to provide innovation but the project was still successful. It was the most massive flying boat in all the fleet. This machine we can call the Victory Aircraft took part in the Great Patriotic War as a naval near reconnaissance. 40, 60 years for the protection of maritime borders were developed flying both B-6 jet seaplane by 10 and the largest at that time amphibious aircraft. B-12 aircraft were in service for a long time, had high flight technical and seaworthy characteristics. The creation of these aircraft secured for Russia the world priority in the field of seaplane construction. was in the arsenal of the designer and passenger aircraft for local airlines B-30, which successfully passed the tests, was presented in Le Bourget, but did not go into series for opportunistic reasons. The aircraft was the last project that embodied the engineering talent of Georgi Beriev. Under Alexei Konstantinov, who replaced the founding father as the chief designer of OKB, engaged in land themes and special purpose projects, during this period, an experimental amphibious vertical takeoff and landing aircraft was created by the Italian Robert Bartini. And in the early 80s, work began on the A-40 Albatross project. It became the largest amphibious jet aircraft in the world. Many technical solutions were then used in the development of the BI-200 aircraft, which today is the main modern project of time, because the design of this aircraft is evolutionary. Uh, it is based on the project of our designers, 80-80 uh, years aircraft, A-40 Albatross. Uh, this aircraft was designed as an anti-submarine aircraft, uh, and it was tested the scheme of the aircraft high plane with the engines located behind the wing, and was also worked out hydrodynamics. The exploits of BE-200 are known all over the world. Here he is saving Greece from smoldering fires. It works in Turkey, and these are only recent reports, and there were also Portugal, Spain, France, Indonesia, Israel. He knows how to take water from almost any body of water, work among mountain ranges, and most importantly, do all this with jet speed in situations where delay can cost lives. All over the world he helped put out fire. As a very high performance, performance is evaluated by the following parameter. How much water can reset the plane depending on the removal of the water body to the fire? So, today equals. No plane in the world matches it. For almost a quarter of a century, the B-200 has been in service with Russia extinguishing fires, saving lives and protecting the country's natural resources. At the helm of this unique waterfowl, real ace Not every pilot will be able to perform so many operations. It only seems that the plane glides easily on the rain surface. At this moment, 12 tons of water are poured into the tank under pressure. Then this load must be dropped as accurately as possible on the fire, without touching the tops of the trees, so that the water does not evaporate in the air and extinguish the fire so many times. Until this plane happens, it will also take water in terms of quantity and speed. For example, in France, we conducted a test, took off in Canada 415, 
not be too hard to work. So it actually, we can assert it reached the fire twice as fast. Early fire containment is crucial to prevent it from spreading. Once the fire roars, going there is futile. They learn to fight the fire element and practice the filigree skill of aerobatics. Here in the training center, take off and landing on the water. On the smooth mirror surface of the river or the sea, the human eye does not distinguish where the boundary of air and water is, and any, even the most unprepared or earthy, take off and landing does not play with waves unlike the sea and the water is not soft at all. The impact on the fuselage when landing on water is almost comparable to a hard landing on concrete without landing gear, so amphibians have special strength. In no other aviation industry will you hear such terms as boat and feed, but here are their professional secrets. Uh, different from an ordinary plane, 13 here is called a boat in Adabak. This is a water intake of up to 12 tons. The plane picked up in 12 seconds. Titanium buckets are installed here, which have very high strength for assembling aircraft. Since the founding of the Secret TK, different generations of OKB employees and the plant created more than 35 types of various seaplanes, amphibians and aircraft, many of which were built serially on the aircraft of TYNTK Ustano. 287 confirmed world aviation records and today's anniversary TNTK team meets remembering the glorious history and confidently looking forward. We have a constant updating of personnel, many young people. There is a mentoring institute. Uh, many of our managers and line employees are studying in various advanced training programs that organize both OAK and the Rusty. The creation of amphibious aircraft is not only a special competence of the Taganrog enterprise and the Russian aircraft industry, but also people and honored veterans. And those who work today in the design and production are not just building aircraft. They are strengthening the country's technological independence and industrial potential.